If you're a video editor looking to gain passive income and also speed up your workflow, let me introduce you to the beautiful world of Mogurts. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this basic subscribe Mogurt as a start to your journey in After Effects with no plugins, and I'll be telling you where to sell them and how. So what the heck is a Mogurt? Mogurt stands for motion graphic templates. You can see a perfect example of a Mogurt happening in documentaries, where when someone is being introduced, a small animation will pop up. They don't recreate the same animation. They use Mogurts so that they can save time. This product I've made is another a good example of using Mogurts efficiently. It allows you to create Twitch chat message Mogurts in just a few clicks. And since it helps other video editors save time, I've been able to sell it and make close to $2,000 over the last 10 months off this Mogurt alone. It's not going to get too complicated. We're going to keep it very basic. Let's get started. So we're going to start a new composition, which is basically a sequence in Premiere Pro. We're going to set the resolution to 1920 by 180, you know, the standard definition for a screen. Name this composition main. We're also going to set the frame rate to 60. Then we're going to make it 10 seconds solid, you know. Press OK, and now we have a fresh project. Mm. So first up, what we're going to do is that we're going to create a rectangle. We're going to turn on transparent background. We're going to make this fit. All right, and we're ready to go. We're going to make a small box about yay big. We're going to go over here to layer. We're going to go over to transform. We're going to click center, anchor point, and layer. We're going to name this background. I'm going to put it a little bit towards the bottom because we want it to pop out from underneath. When I'm working with motion graphics, I like to put all the elements onto the document first and then add the animation and all that just so we have like a basis to work off of. Let's change this background color. I'm going to use YouTube colors. We're going to make the background gray. Too way, too way, too way. Boom. I want to round this rectangle out a little bit. So I'm going to go over here to background. I'm going to open it up, go to context, rectangle, rectangle path and increase this rounding a little bit. Yeah, that's that's nice to me. Next thing we're going to do is that we're going to add that subscribe button. Going to make it that nice YouTube red, which is FF0000. Take off the stroke. Going to take off the stroke on the background as well. Going to set this to the middle here. So the next thing we're going to do is going to add the text. Going to add Jiggy, Jiggy Puff Friday. It's a crazy font. I'm not using that. We're going to switch that over to something simple. Century Gothic just for now. Yeah, bold is fine. Spell my name wrong. Jimmy Fridays, you know. We're gonna set it to the middle here. We're gonna duplicate this layer, put it down, and we're gonna put how many subscribers we have. So 10k subscribers. By the way, thank you guys for reaching me to 10k subscribers. I never thought I'd make it this far. We're gonna make this text regular instead, so it kind of has like that nice contrast. Add a subscribe call to action to the button. We're gonna make this bold. I changed my mind. It's much better. Right, and then I'm going to drag and drop my Jiggy picture over here. Going to put it right here. Scale it down. I don't know about you, but I prefer when my channel logo looks like a circle and not just a Minecraft block. So what we're going to do is that we're going to make a circle. Long pressing here and go to circle. And then I'm going to kind of just hold down shift so it stays even and make a circle on top of the image. And what we can do next is that we can go to Jiggy, go to track mat, and we're going to say shape layer. And it's just going to make sure that image stays in the circle. It also usually hides the circle as well. You can bring it back if you want, but why the hell would you want to do that? We're going to parent it to the Jiggy. So whenever the Jiggy image moves, the shape mat also moves. And then we're going to just going to name everything circle mask. Subscribe background. Nice. Now everything is nice and neat. I'm going to go over here to effects and add a beautiful drop shadow. Gives it a little bit, oh, you know. So this is the fun part. Now we get to add the animation. So the first thing I want to do is make everything go up and then down. So it can kind of come into screen and then go out of screen. Right click, press new, null. Then we're going to select all of these and attach these to this brand new null we made. We're going to call this null control. That way, whenever we move control, everything else moves with it. So first thing we're gonna do is that we're going to make this control or everything come from the bottom of the screen. We're gonna put that down, solid. You know, linear keyframes kind of suck though. So we're gonna select these keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assisted and click easy ease. You're gonna see a bit of a difference, but eh, I like a bit more. So I'm gonna go over to graph editor after clicking position, click this, go to the graph, and I'm gonna make sure the speed graph is showing and not the value graph. And I'm gonna take the second keyframe and drag it to the front. So instead I get this. So now it's a bit smoother. I'm gonna click this graph and get out of graph mode because we need to make more animations. Then we're going to add more keyframes, two keyframes, and make go down in the same fashion. So let's see how that looks. It's a tiny bit fast. We got to slow that puppy down a little bit. So we're going to go over here to graph again. We're in a speed graph and we're going to make it slowly go out. We're basically going to make it speed up on its way out. Get out of graph. Much better. All right. Now we're going to start adding animations to everything else. We're going to add a scale and rotation to this image. So we're going to go ahead, add two more keyframes. 
go back and size it to zero. Then we're gonna make it rotate from the right. So not bad. Same thing, select scale, go to speed graph. This one looks a little bit weirder. So then I'm gonna hold out shift and kind of make it like this. I'm also gonna bring this down as well. Pull that to the side as much as possible. Scale is good, rotation is not. Let's fix that. Go over to rotation and do the same thing. So I'm gonna drag it to zero. I'm still holding down shift so it snaps. And I'm also gonna bring the first point to zero as well. Let's see how it looks. Solid. So now we're gonna add an animation to the text. Gonna over here to Jiggy Buff Fridays. That's me. Gonna go over here to transform and we're going to add keyframes to the position and opacity. And go a little bit back and add more keyframes. Then we're gonna make Jiggy Buff Fridays come from the bottom as well. Solid. Yeah, and you know I love my easing, so we're gonna add that as well. Graph editor, click position, hold down shift. You know the drill by now, honestly. We're kind of gonna mess around with these keyframes a little bit. Just trying to find the right amount of time you need to make it look clean. Like that's pretty nice. Gonna do the same thing to opacity, go to speed, hold down shift. Mwah. Now I don't want to do this animation over again for the 10K. So we're just gonna copy these keyframes, go over here and press paste. And you can see like, you know, it's jumbling up a little bit, but we can solve this by just putting the anchor point just a tiny bit down. And look at that. Kind of want a delayed effect where the username pops up first, then the subscriber count. So we're gonna go over here to transform. We're gonna move these keyframes to the right a little bit. Boom. It's actually looking really good so far. Next up is the subscribe. We're gonna add the same position and opacity keyframes to the subscribe box. So I'm gonna click the subscribe box and press control V after I've copied it with control C. Oh no, where is it? It's in southbound Africa, down here. Go over here to anchor point and just, just move it to the side. You know, we gotta do that extra shit. We're gonna do something a little fancy with this subscribe text over here. We're gonna go over here to subscribe layer. We're gonna pick track mat or we're gonna click the subscribe background and make sure the subscribe background is enabled. So what this will do is that it'll fade in with the box. All right, so far I think everything looks really good. We're just going to mess with the keyframes a little bit so it flows a bit nicer. So I'm just gonna select all these keyframes, just make them come into the picture just a little bit sooner, especially the image. Perfect. Now that we're done with this motion graphic, how do we transform this motion graphic into a mogul? We're gonna go here to window and clicking essential graphics and i'm going to show you exactly what this panel does in a second so we're going to click our main composition which is main i'm going to call this real quick subscribe cca basically what the essential graphics panel is is kind of your headquarters so we want to take jiggy puff friday as the channel name and allow the user to change the channel name so very channel name so we're going to go over to jiggy puff fridays i'm going to over to text source text and i'm going to drag source text to the essential graphics panel. This first column is the name of the thing you're changing. And the second column is the content you're changing it to. So I'm gonna call this channel name. And I'm gonna change this column to say your channel here. We're gonna do the same thing with this subscriber count. We're gonna drag and drop the source text. We're gonna name the first column subscriber count. And then we're gonna change this to say 5K subscribers. You can even drag and drop the image and it'll allow the user to drag and drop their own image in Premiere Pro and they'll have their own custom animated mogul just by dragging and dropping these fields. We're gonna name this channel photo. Now that you're done creating your mogul and putting in your fields, you have to export this motion graphic to be able to be used in Premiere Pro. So to do this, we're gonna go over here to export motion graphics template. The project needs to be saved first. Yes, I'm gonna save it. And then you can choose a destination where to save this motion graphics template. So I'm gonna go over here, local drive, I'm gonna put it in documents. And then I'm gonna press okay. So it's up to get this message. Oh, your fonts are not synced with Adobe. Adobe has their own way of syncing fonts through the creative cloud. You just have to make sure whichever computer you're gonna be using this mogul on, if you wanna use the font, you have to make sure that computer has that font as well. I'm pretty sure Windows systems come with Sensory Gothic, but I think in this case, it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna press okay. So now we're gonna head over to Premiere. So now I open up documents so you can see what the subscribe call to action mogul is. A common mistake people make is that they try to drag and drop the mogul into the project panel. You cannot do that. When you end up doing that, you get a file import failure. It's Instead, what you need to do is go to Window and then open the Essential Graphics panel. So we're gonna take that Subscribe Call to Action and we're going to drag and drop it into our Essential Graphics panel. There it is. And now you can drag and drop your Subscribe Call to Action into Premiere Pro. 
you can see that same beautiful Mogur right there. So now that we have it imported, you want to change the information that's inside the Mogur. We're gonna click the Mogur and we're going to go to Essential Graphics and when you go to Edit, you can see all these new options right here. And these are the same options that we set ourselves in After Effects in the Essential Graphics panel. So as you can see, the Essential Graphics panels kind of share the same options. So now we can change this channel back to Jiggy, put the subscriber to maybe 15K because that's the next goal. And then we can drag and drop any photo into the channel photo section and it changes over here. That's pretty impressive. That's how you create Mogurs in After Effects and import them into Premiere Pro to use. So now you can use this same Mogur in every single one of your videos and just change the channel name, the subscriber count, and the photo, and you're done. If you're working for multiple clients, this is a godsend. I did say at the beginning of this video that I sell Mogurs. Where do you sell your Mogurs? Well, you can choose a variety of ways. I chose to sell it independently by choosing Gumroad. You can also download and upload Mogurs to Envato Elements, which puts in a kind of marketplace alongside other people's Mogurts. You could use Adobe Stock, you can use Motion Array. There's multiple platforms dedicated to just selling your Mogurts. And as an editor, selling Mogurts has been a really authentic way for me to make passive income. Over the last 10 months, I've made over two grand just off one Mogurt. It's not easy, it's marketing, it's audience, it's making a promotional video, making a good product page. But at the end of the day, it is so cool to find that you have multiple income options as a video editor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more content like this let me know this is something brand new that i've never done also feel free to check out my shop which has more advanced mogurts that you can buy really accelerate your editing workflow i'll catch you next time peace